Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Spirit Halloween 2014 and 2015 Lunging Willy. And also, the uh, Haunted Hill Farm. This is Amtron sold by Haunted Hill Farm for this year as well. So, yeah, so I got Lunging Willy like three weeks ago. Um, this is the old one. As you can see, it has a plastic base right there. Um, so we... Um, my mom found a yard sale that had a bunch of Halloween stuff, and there was a lunging li lily there, and it was only $25, um, and we got it, and I just thought, oh, if it's broken, I can just, uh, try to fix it, uh, <clears throat> but when I got it home, I unplugged, I, I, not unplugged, uh, I took off her springs, um, because I did not think she was gonna lunge, but I, but she actually does lunge. And this is the old one. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, this is, this is the 2015 model because, um, because, um, if you have, if you have the one that, that's sold by, that's, that was sold from Spirit Halloween, um, your lunging lily would either have a white base or a black base. If you, if yours has the black base, that's the 2014 model and the white base is 2015 model. That's the same. That same thing. That's the same thing that goes for Peekaboo Penny too. If you have, if you have one, this is something good to know. If your, if yours is black, if your base is black, then that's twenty fourteen, and if it's white, it's twenty fifteen. Yeah. Also, this is the tallest of the uh, jumping props, like the lung, like the animat, like she, she's the tallest of the animatronics that share like this, like sa this mechanism, pretty much. Um. Yeah, uh, but, yeah, so, sh yeah, so this is, like, this is her mechanism, pretty similar to, like, the jumping spider and stuff, um, well, uh, yeah, and the reason why she's taller than most, like, the other lunging girls, like, the pumpkin carver and that crimson girl, um, they, they actually have a regular base, like, jumping spiders, uh, and, like, they had just have feet, uh, attached to them, but lunging Lily has a base with, a riser poles right here that have the mechanism and has she also has the back foot with weights but yeah and also since owning this we had we had to fix her twice like when i made uh some sh when i made some sh shorts about her she was working perfectly but her first problem that she had when she would go down she wouldn't stay down she would actually jump up again uh we just like bent the metal piece of the relay what happened was actually here. This is what happened. So, so the relay switch somehow got messed up. Like, like it would still hit the relay switch. The relay switch still worked, but it would hit it too too late. And by the time it did hit it, it would jump up like that. Um, and so we just uh, bent the metal piece. So now when it goes down, it will hit the relay switch. Um, but yeah. And then her second problem is. The back foot with uh, uh the back foot with the weight actually came off. The the plastic pieces uh kind of they like they they like kind of shattered. And so what I did um I took her base apart right here. I took the top part off the base, and um I took some wood, and I screwed the back foot on, and I screwed the the bottom part of the base in. And this is much sturdier than it was when we first got it. So yeah. Yeah, and she's pretty, very stable when she jumps up, which is awesome because uh, the poles could, can snap. Um, it might happen, but hopefully it doesn't. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And out of the three different models of Lunging Willie, um, this is the this is the one that's like in the middle. Uh, the middle quality one like the worst quality one is the 2014 model um uh the, the one in the middle is this one which is the 2015 model and the best quality one is this this year's model from haunted hill farm um but uh yeah um so yeah a lot of the 2014 ones had an issue with their uh, square shaft gear the square shaft gear would break and it wouldn't jump anymore it would just be like jump fully jumped up like whatever but yeah this this thing is uh pretty creepy too but yeah 
Now let's get into this, some of the details. So she has um this white dress, which looks pretty good on her. Um, this one, it has a couple holes in it, and it's kind of dirty. But uh, I kind of like it that way because it just makes it look more scary. And her hands are pretty cool. cool. She has like, blood right there, flesh ripped out, blood. That is a really cool thing. Um, she has a teddy bear right here. It's not a scary teddy bear. It's pretty normal. Then she has some nice black hair right here. And her face is very, very squishy, uh, which is kind of weird. Uh, yeah. And also, in my opinion, the old, the spirit, the older ones, the 2014 and 2015 model, the faces look better. I don't really like the face on the new one. Some a lot, a lot of people might like the face on the new one, but me personally, I'm not a too big fan of the face on the new one. Uh. But uh. Oh uh, yeah. Um. So, her mouth moves when she talks, and, um, her eyes light up white, which is pretty cool. I love, uh, white eyes on techie props that just, there's not a lot these days, but when I, whenever I see animatronic with white eyes, that kind of brings back the good old days. Like, where Spirit Halloween used to be scary. Uh, but yeah, basically, um, what she does, she's the little girl, like, at, uh, that needs help, but then... And then she, like, a possessed little girl that needs help, but then she jumps up at you, which is really cool. This thing scared me when I first saw it. Um, like, when I, first, when I saw this thing in person when I was uh, younger, like, four or five, I did not like it. But now I'm okay with it, because I actually really like this animatronic. Yeah, and also, if you have a jump scare animatronic, this is really important. Leave them in the up position like I'm doing here. She's in the up position right now. Um... If you leave these things in the down position, then what will happen is the springs will wear out uh, from being in the down position all the time. And then they would either, like, jump slow or uh, uh, not jump up at all. Uh, yeah. I actually have... I, I, I only have one jump scare animatronic that doesn't even have springs, and that's Darling Dolly. Darling Dolly, I, don't, I believe she doesn't have springs. She's uh, gravity-fed. So she uses gravity for a jump scare. But I, I keep her in her down position because uh, in her up position, there's like a pl plastic piece that's supporting the entire body. But when she's in the down position, there's like metal in there, pretty much. But yeah, Lunging Lily uh, was, uh, she wasn't the worst uh, quality animatronic of 2014 uh, and 2015, but she is not uh, really the best. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly talking about 2014 ones. 2014 ones were bad. But they upgrade them in 2015. Uh, all right, well, I think we should turn her on now. Let's see, Let's see. All right. Actually, um, before we turn her on, let's. I'll show you what she has on her base. Yeah, let's get the clothes up. So she has a switch right here. On, po on position, that's sound and motion. Uh, off, uh, doesn't do anything. I never have my animatronics in the off position. I always, like, unplug them. Even, if, especially jump scare animatronics. Even these jump scare animatronics are in the off position. They're still gonna go back down. Which I really don't like. Okay. Then on, and then foot pad position. That's where you can use a foot pad. The foot pad jack is right here. It's labeled foot pad. Yeah. Um, she also has a volume control, so you can turn the volume up or down. She is pretty loud. Um, yeah, there's, like, wires here. And also, if you don't want to use the adapter, there is a battery compartment right here that takes four AA batteries. But, yeah, now let's plug her in. She didn't... When I plugged her in the f first time, like, I, I forgot to sh show you her base, uh, on this side. But, uh... She didn't go back down, so I think I might have... The last time I used her, I think I probably unplugged her. If you unplug her, like, if you unplug her, like, right when she, like, jumps up, then the motor... Pro it'll probably think it's... The motor will probably think it's still in the down position. It's not... Nothing... Nothing will break it, though, but it's... Hang on, like, she's gonna, like, start going. Yeah, she didn't go back down. She's not broken, so she'll... I'll show you.
Yeah, see, do you hear the motor? I unplugged her right when she jumped up and the motor thinks she's uh, in the opposition. Right? Yeah, see, she's going back down now. And there we go. Now here's a real demo of her. Here she goes. She, she re retails she retail for hundred and uh, seventy dollars I believe as well. Okay guys, so that was a review on the Spirit Halloween 2014 and 2015 and the Haunted Hill Farm 2023. Uh lunging Willie. Uh let me know what you guys think of this animatronic. I think she's really cool. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.